Hello and Namaste. My name is Mr. Gautam Behra and today I will be talking on Iron Night Riding or Plasma Night Riding process. As the name suggests, this night riding process involves the formation of plasma that is formation of nitrogen ions which will be diffusing into the surface of the steel. In the previous video as I have discussed Iron night riding or plasma night riding is a single stage process which helps in the elimination of white layer during night riding process because this white layer is a brittle one that leads to the crack formation. So before moving into the procedure let us look at the setup. So this is the setup which is a complicated setup for iron night riding or plasma night riding. So in this setup we can see we have a vacuum vessel inside this vessel the night riding will be carried out and we have a steel job on which night riding will be carried out and this vessel and the steel is connected to the power supply you can see. So the vessel is connected to the positive terminal of the power supply and the steel job which is placed on a table is connected to the negative terminal of the power supply. So the steel jaw will be acting as cathode where the vessel will be acting as an anode. And a vacuum pump will be there so that the entire process must be carried out in the vacuum. And the source of hydrogen and nitrogen gas will be there which will provide hydrogen and nitrogen into this vacuum vessel. Next we will move to the procedure for plasma nitriding. So procedure is very simple. First the steel component which is cathode is heated to a temperature of 370 to 650 degree centigrade by electrical heater. So when the temperature reach the gas supply uh, will start the gas mixture is basically hydrogen and nitrogen and it is supplied at a pressure of 1 to 10 torr. Then high DC voltage is supplied across the vessel and the table or that is the workpiece that is 500 to 1000 volt. So it is very high voltage. So that leads to the ionization of the gases. The next step is bombardment of nitrogen ions to surface at high energy and the part of this energy hits the cathode and allow diffusion of nascent nitrogen inwards from nitrites. Remaining energy utilized in displacing the secondary electron from the surface of the steel. Night riding case depth depends upon current, it depends upon temperature and time. So after night riding is over, the component is cooled by supply nitrogen gas atmosphere. And during night riding, a glow discharge envelops the component. The glow discharge current density is maintained between 0.5 into 10 to the minus 3 and 3 into 10 to the minus 3 ampere per meter square by controlling the glow discharge voltage. Now we'll move to the advantages of ion night riding or plasma night riding. There are many advantages but very few disadvantages of this process. The first advantage is no trace of white layer. That means no white layer formation will be there because we can control the diffusion of nitrogen. And the other advantage is that this Iron night riding process or plasma night riding process can be applicable to those machine components on which high impact force, rolling, bending and twisting stress and wear is acting. This process can be applied to low alloy steel, high alloy steel, tool steel and night riding steel. The other advantage are uniform nitrides builds up on the case which are hard but still ductile and core hardness is retained. There will be no dimensional change. This is completely environmental friendly, no toxic, no toxicity. This is single step and low energy consumption and component with complex shape and geometry and different size can be nitrites. Let us see other advantages. The last advantage this nitriding process can be given to cold work steel also and to the steel sensitive to the temperature because this process can be carried out at low temperature to provide wear resistance. So few limitations are there, limitation is very few. One is complex equipment and skilled worker is needed. Cost of the equipment is higher. Strict parameter control is needed. And 
no quenching facility is available for obtaining better fatigue strength for component made out of unalloyed steel thank you